following video will provide some guidance on how to properly use the recovery equipment. Avoiding any of the following steps about refrigerant recovery process can be extremely dangerous and will increase recovery time. Ensure that you have a new filter before beginning the recovery process. Check that the inlet valve on the recovery machine is closed. Connect the filter to the inlet port on the recovery machine, ensuring that the arrow on the filter is pointed in the proper direction. Before continuing with the next steps, ensure that you are using the correct manifold gauges. Manifold gauges with low loss fittings lock refrigerant into the hoses and a mixing of refrigerants can cause operational issues. Connect manifold gauges to the unit using the red hose to connect to the high side and the blue hose to connect to the low side. Connect the yellow hose from the manifold gauges to the inlet side of the filter. Connect an auxiliary hose from the discharge valve to the liquid side of the recovery tank. Open the liquid side of the manifold gauge. Since the yellow hose has air and impurities in it, it's necessary to purge it using refrigerant from the unit. Place the recovery tank on the scale and note the weight. Now, zero the scale out by pressing the zero or tear button. This will help us determine how much we remove from the unit. Plug the machine in. Ensure that the extension cord you're using is of proper length to avoid voltage drop across the cord. Ensure that the purge recover valve is in the recover position. Turn on the recovery machine. Open the discharge valve to the full open position. Slowly open the inlet valve to the recover side of the valve until you hear a noticeable change in the sound of the recovery machine. Monitor the low pressure inlet gauge. As the pressure drops, you can open the inlet valve slowly until you hear a noticeable change in the sound of the recovery machine. Continue doing this until the inlet valve is in the full open recovery position. At this point, most, if not all, of the liquid refrigerant has been recovered and you're now recovering vapor refrigerant. Open the low side manifold gauge so that you can recover the vapor from both the low and high sides of the system. Monitor the low pressure inlet gauge to determine that you have reached a steady vacuum. Once you have reached a steady vacuum, you can now begin the purge cycle of recovery. The next video will explain the process.